Hello guys, como están boys? Here, welcome back to another video here on the channel and I have some some break time here in university I just came down because I needed to return some things, sign some papers, some documents So, well, it actually just got me by surprise the news that Ludovic Reis has signed for Barcelona He's signing from Groningen for 3.5 million euros And if you saw the video yesterday, I believe this is very good news Because I was saying that Barcelona need to copy Dortmund and already get their signings right for the for the start of the season you need to get that time for them to adjust and by signing Ludovic Rice very early into this transfer window he can just come to Barcelona he's already here he's already photos with him holding the t-shirt so it's good because then he gets to know the place and feel more comfortable when and relax you know when he plays with Barcelona he doesn't need to prove right from the start he can just go step by step and that's a very good thing I believe for for us and for Barcelona at the end I really really do the main question I know that some of you are going to have is exactly what is his role in this team? Is he going to go into the first team? Is he going to go to play for Barcelona B? At this current moment, I think he's going to go to Barcelona B, you know, and just be someone like a Musa Wagge, someone like Abel Ruiz, someone like Ricky Puch, players which are already kind of close of making the jump to the first team, but not just yet there. And he's going to get those games like La Copa del Rey, like games where are not that meaningful, where we need to rest an entire team. I believe that is kind of good for one season, but just one season only. We need to understand that Busquets already, what, 30 years old, 31? And okay, he's not that old, but taking into account that he has played since he was like 20 for our club, it's, it's kind of like a long career. So probably his end at Barcelona is coming soon, in the next season or so. So Ludovic Reis having one season to adapt is not the worst thing. I will like him to be incorporated in the preseason with the very first squad though. I do believe that for him we need to respect that he has already played in the first division of the ever Erdivise. He was already playing there with Groningen and now coming to Barcelona, that's kind of like a step down actually because he was playing every single game, every single minute and now he's not going to be doing that at Barcelona B. Well, at Barcelona he's not going to be doing that and at Barcelona B he will, but it's, it's Barcelona B, it's not the first division of the Netherlands, so it's a step down. So I kind of want to hear what you have to say about this player. I do want to see your opinions. Do you think he's capable enough to replace Busquets in the future? I believe that he could be very interesting for the future. Having someone like Frankie de Jong, Arthur and him in a midfield could work very nicely. And with people like Ricky Puch, with Carles Alenia, we just looks to have a very bright future when it comes to the midfield. And that's perhaps what Barcelona is trying to do here. Their plan is not necessarily to replace someone like Messi, but go back to the Barcelona of the midfield, the Barcelona that dominated the games. And with a signing like Ludovic Reis, perhaps not just now, but in the future, we are surely going to do that. So I want to hear what you have to say about this signing. Leave me all of that in the comment box down below. And later today, I will return into my flat. I'm going to be doing some videos on Malcolm and some other transfer news. And I also want to discuss, well, exactly that. I want to discuss the midfield more in depth and how we could line up with the young and rice. So stay tuned for that. Drop us a like, leave us a subscribe, turn the bell notification icon, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Ciao.